Hello. Can you believe it's the last day of our four week workout? It's gone by so fast, but hey, we are here. We made it to the last day. That means your willpower is on point. Very, very good. Last day, we are gonna do 40 second work, 20 second rest, two exercises, two times. That's all. In 40 minutes, our four weeks together is completed. That does not mean that we don't have to work out together anymore. We can continue. But for now, let's focus on today's workout. Come on, no time to lose. For today's warm up, I want you to cross your leg behind and behind. So we're doing a curtsy lunge, getting movements into the body. Walking your legs from side to side. Do different exercises today as always, working through the whole body. One more. Good. Stop. Arms up. You want to twist and twist. Okay, so for today I want you to focus on all the muscles you are working. So for each exercise you do, notice why you're doing it and what muscle you are using. Good. Reach up and roll down. Sit down in your deep squat, push your knees out and then you're going to walk your legs back to a point and you step one in front. Open up. Switch, plank, front, open up, do it again, switch, good, come back to your plank, lower it all the way down, push your chest up, extend your arms if that feels okay, and then push back to downward, Facing down. So I'm placing my butt on my heels, looking down, relax the neck, stretching out my arms, and then push on to downward facing dog. So feet down, maybe walk a little from side to side, straight back, push your palms down, and then slowly start to walk your hands to your feet. And then rolling up, up. Good. From here, let's do a squat. Sit down. Come onto your toes. Slowly. Down. Toes. behind your head. You're going to do a squat. And you're going to do a good morning. Okay, so from the side it looks like this. Down. And then bending 90 degrees from my hip. Ready, set. 40 seconds, go. Down. And front. So I'm sitting down in a squat. And then to good morning. Good morning. Keep going, you're halfway. 
15 seconds to go. You bend as far as your back is straight. And 10. deadlift to plank. So bend a little bit your knees. Come all the way down to deadlift. Plant your hands. And plank. And again. Okay. Feet pointing straight forward. Bend a little in your knees and go. Down. Plank. In. And up. Down. Plank. In. Up. So you want to keep your back straight the whole time. I don't think I have to tell you to engage your core now. You know that. Nice work. You got ten. And five. And three. And two. Okay, take it back to your squat and good morning. So in the good morning, you stop when your back is straight, 90 degrees in your hips. In three, in two, and go. Down and over. Down and over. After this, you're going to work the core. Just stay strong in your legs for a little more. So either if you are a beginner and this is the first program you do, or if you just had a little break from working out and needed to ease into it with two works out per week, you did it really, really well. Okay, shake it out. Back to deadlift to plank. So it takes time to create good habits. By working out twice a week, you're really doing that. So, let's go straight back, deadlift. Yes, down, plank. So combining upper body and lower body on this one. Breaking your legs and your back and your deadlift. Working your core, arms and shoulders in the plank. 12 seconds. Then you are done with the two first exercises of today. The last one. We're going to do pallet press side to side. So you sit on your knees and you're going to push to each side. Pretend you have a cable so like you're pulling from side to side. Three, two, go. So my shoulders are low. My arms is in the same height as my shoulders. And I just twist from the core. So I don't even have to hold my hands like that. The movement is this rotation. But it makes it easier to pretend you're pulling something. Yes, 10 seconds. Use that core. Pull that imaginary cable. Three, two, do mountain climbers. So we're gonna cross so your knee comes to your opposite elbow. Okay, hands on your shoulders, onto your toes. We do it slowly so we really get to focus on the core. Come up and cross. Knee to opposite elbow. Is your back straight? Are you pushing your palms down? Pushing your shoulders up. Good news, you're halfway. 20 seconds. 
rotate a little each time. Knee to opposite elbow. Relax your neck. Look down. Five. Oh, we got this. Three, two, one. Okay, shake it out to relax your shoulders, your arms, back to pile of press. So, this part is tucked, arms in front, twist and twist. Yeah. So, side to side. Maybe you even feel it in your shoulders now. So you have to lift them after your mountain climber. You're over halfway. After this, upper body gets to relax. We're gonna work into the legs, the glutes. Three, two, and one. Come back to your mountain climbers, crossing. If you need a break, you just stay stable in a plank. You can also put your knees down in the plank. But if you can, stay with me. We got 40 second mountain climbers. Starting in three, two, and go. Twist. Use your breath. Use your mindset. You are strong. You showed up for the last workout. We're gonna crush it. We're gonna give it our best. 20. And 10. Almost there. You can do it. You can finish it up. In three, and two, and one. Ay, ay, ay. Feel that one. Come down, lay down for your glute bridge. So, hence the exercise say, glute bridge. Focus on the glute. Lift up your hip. Then you bring one leg up, side in, down and switch. We started. So switching legs each time. Up, side, in, down. Up, side, in, down. Doing good, only 20 seconds left. Do so you wanna keep lifting your hips up? They have a tendency to fall down, that's normal. So you need to actively push them up. Stay with me. And relax. You're gonna come up. your adductors. So down in the squat position, you're gonna push your knees in and out, working the inside of your thighs and also the outside. We go. In and out. Just pushing your knees in and out. Easier up here. You can stay here for a bit if you need a rest. But down here, where the magic happens. Try to keep your feet stable. Knees go in and out. 15 seconds. And your chest is lifted. Your neck is in a natural position. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay down. Glute bridge. Once again, same. You lift up, you go up, side, in, down, and you switch. Five seconds and we're back at it. Okay, lift and go. Up, side, in, down. Up, side, in, down. Continue. Continue to lift your hips. Keep your hips pointing straight forward, upwards. 
Lower that leg up and then to the side. 12 seconds. Still going strong. And we got three. And two. And one. And down. Take it all the way up. And you're going to come into your low position. Pushing the knees in and out. Enjoy your break for five more seconds. Okay, sit down and move in. So try to be in an angle that is quite deep, as deep as possible. And yes, the thighs might burn a little now. That's 100% okay. We are working our muscles. We want to feel it. 15. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we are gonna work in a dip position. Hands down, lift up. You're gonna come down and touch your heel. You can also do it seated. Okay, we go. Down, touch. Down, touch. Okay, just continue like that. Pointing your elbows straight backwards. Using your tricep when you dip, your core when you lift. 20 seconds. You're doing really great. Keep pushing for 10. Five, and three, and two, and that's it. Knee pulses to sit-ups. So I'm down here, I place my hands in front of me, and I go three, two, one, down, okay? And let's do it. Three, two, one, and down. To challenge yourself, Lift your upper back as high as possible. Rounding your spine, chin to chest. Do that for 20 more seconds. Keep moving. You are strong, strong core. Push your shoulders away from your ears. Stay with me for five. Last one. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. Coming back to our dip position. So, from behind, it looks like this. My fingers pointing towards me. Elbows pointing straight behind me. I dip and I touch. Okay, ready in three and two. And go. Down. Focus. You want to keep the balance. You want to keep lifting up your body, just bending in your elbow. Twenty seconds to go. We got this. Strong tricep. Strong core. Eight seconds. Okay, in three, two, and one. Lower it back down, relax. We are coming back to our pulses. Three pulses, that's it, okay? And then we got eight exercises left. We have completed. Okay, three, two, one. If it's easy, you lift up higher. Lift that lower back as high as possible. Fifteen. 
routine. Come on, make yourself proud. This is your time to shine. You are halfway through the workout. Last three, two, one, and lower. Excellent. We need to come all the way up to standing. And we're gonna do lunges. We're gonna do lunges to all three sides. So front, side, and back. Okay, same leg the whole time. We go front, side, and back. Take your time. You wanna bend that knee each time. No rush, no rush, take your time. Front, side, and back. 12 seconds. Remember what, which leg you're using. We're gonna switch next round. Take it back and shake it out. Back kicks. So you're gonna kick your heel to your butt. Fast, big movements okay 40 seconds it goes extremely fast we are over halfway through our workout so i want to see you work now ready go so you can start down here and then take it higher in the end you want to kick your heel to your butt keep moving you can move your arms as well maybe you want to walk around, distract yourself a little bit. 15 seconds. Kicking those heels high up each time. Eight, five, and three, and two, and one. Nice. Lunges, other leg, all directions, just switching the leg. Yes, the poles might raise after those. That's what we want. And three, and two. Get in position and go. Taking it in each direction, bending the knee low to each side. Front, side, and back. Continue. Big movement. When we lunge to the side, we also get a nice stretch on the opposite leg. I like when we get stretching into our workout. Last one. Yes. Back kicks. Are you ready for it? Bring those heels up as high as you can. After this, you have six exercises remaining. Six exercises, that's all. So, we go. Starting, you see? Now we feel comfortable. We start to lift, start to kick. And I like to use my arms too. The more we move, the more we burn. So make it big, last 20. Last 10. Five. And three, and two, and one. Okay, we are gonna come to a downward dog. Feet behind you, on your toes, pushing the heels down. Bend your knees if you need to, to have a straight back. Then you're gonna walk out, and you're gonna walk back. Okay, so you're just walking, and walking. We started. This is a good one for your shoulders and your core. If it's too much, you can take a break here, and then move into a plank as you are ready. 20 seconds. Breathe. Stay strong. 
strong. Straight back the whole time for five. And two. And one. Next one is going to be our side plank. So lay it down. Elbow and your shoulder. Bend one knee if you're okay with that. And then drop it low. Lift it high. Both legs up, more difficult. So you choose knee. We started. Knee down and up. Or feet grounded down and up. We stay here for 20 more seconds. Feel your hips working. Feel your core working. If your arm gets tired, plant it onto the side of your body. Keep the other elbow grounded under your shoulder. Count down for three, two, one. Back to your downward dog. Take your time to breathe. Breathe. After this, four exercises left. Getting excited. We're gonna work at a high intensity, so we really are excited to finish up. Ready? And go. Walk and walk. So just moving my arms, but that movement makes my core and shoulders work a lot. Okay? Only 20 seconds to go. Getting closer. We're gonna count down from 10. And five, and three, and two, and one. Ay, 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 ay. Come to your side plank, other side. Elbow down, knees or straight legs. Find your position, you know what to do. Arm up or to the side. And now focus on lifting that hip up and lower it down. Okay, don't stay in your comfort zone now. This is not the time to hold back. You're almost done. Stay with me, you got 15 seconds. After this, we have eight times 40 seconds. That's four exercises repeated twice. Okay, stay with it. You are strong. And okay. Moving on to our last one for the legs. So we are on a kneeling squat. And you're gonna walk, walk, down, down. Okay? Ready? Three, and two, and go. Deep squat the whole time. Stay low, stay low. And try to change which leg you bring up first. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. If it's too much, come up so you get to relax the thighs a bit. And then down. But if you can, there is 15 seconds to go. We want you to stay low. Stay strong. Eight. Three. Two, one. Next one is jumping lunges. You have two options. Stay up here, nice and easy, but still working a lot on the pulse. Heavier option, big lunges each time. Go. Start even here. If you feel like it's easy, go for it. Try to bend low each time. If you get a cramp, if it's too much, come up. You can switch. Do your best. We got 20 seconds. Come on, do it with me. 
feel the burn, just acknowledge it and then you ignore it. And then you keep pushing for five, three, two, one. I know, I know it burns, but it's good because it's the last we do for the legs. <sighs> Lower that pulse, calm down. Kneeling squats. In three, two, one. 40 seconds of this. 40 seconds of jumping lunges. That's it for the legs. We can do it. If I can, you can. And great news, we're halfway. Only 15 seconds now. Stay with the movement. Think about the muscles you're using. I'm sure you feel which muscles you're using now. Okay, jumping lunges. Are you gonna stay with the little ones? Are you gonna switch a bit? Or are you gonna do the full ones? That's up to you. Maybe you don't know the answer. Maybe your body will decide for you. Okay, let's do this. Either here or big ones. I know your legs are strong. I know it sits in your mind. You decide. 30 seconds. Feel the burn. Stay with it. Come on, we're gonna do it together. How long do we have left? 15 seconds. It's nothing. This burn, we can overcome it. For eight. Stay focused. For three, for two, for one. And my legs are done. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, you're gonna lay down. Last two exercises. Come a little bit to your side. And then you're gonna lift up and touch. We go. I'm sorry if your pulse is not down yet. But just keep pushing through. 40 seconds times four. That's it. So I'm really reaching for my toes, using the core to lift up. 20 seconds. You can bend the knees to make it easier. It makes the way a little shorter. 10 seconds. You know, those jumping lunges really get our pulse going. And three, and two, and one. Okay, plank. Last plank variation for today. Stay with your elbows and your shoulders. And then either you stay here or you walk one and one leg to the side. Okay, go. We got it. Straight back. Take your time to get in position. When you're ready, move one and one leg at a time. Shoulders over elbows. Straight back. Strong core. Strong mentality. We're gonna finish it up. You got 15 seconds. Then we repeat one more time. That's it. 10. Keep your butt low. For three, for two, for one. Come down. And then other side, you're gonna lift up to the side. It's warm up. Arm up. Support with the other one down to the floor. Lean onto your side and come up. Finally, my pulse is starting to get normal. What about you? Good job. Stay here. Stay here. Keep lifting up. You've got 20 seconds left. Remember, bending the knees a bit easier. 
There's always an option to complete. 10 seconds. And five. And three. And two. And one. Plank. Last time. Elbows under shoulders. Get into that strong position. And move your leg from side to side. Are you ready? Last 40. Not only for today, but for this whole program. I'm ready. And move side to side. Keep your butt low. Keep your upper body strong. Counting down from 25. In 18 seconds, you are done. You have worked out your whole body. Pulse, cardio, strength, flexibility. Five seconds. Come on. Last one. Yes. We did it. What an amazing feeling. Maybe not yet, but in five minutes you will feel all those endorphins running around, being super happy with all the energy you released. Okay, it's time to cool down. So come to your mat, feet straight in front of you, and then pretend you have a big ball in front of you. So you wanna lift up and over. It's a good stretch for your back, legs, your hamstrings. Maybe you feel it all the way to your neck. Find a normal breathing pattern. And just relax as much as possible. From here, you just wanna roll down super slow, super slow, and reach down to the ground. One leg stretched out, the other one up. Flex your feet and just walk your feet towards you. Maybe working a little dynamic, pushing it a bit in front and back. Inhale and on your exhale, see if you can draw that leg even further down towards you. Come down. Feels good to stretch after an intense workout like that. Our muscles and body really appreciate that. And take it down. Okay, from here, I want you to put your feet down, arms down, and then just come up for a little bridge. Okay, so just rolling your back up, vertebra for vertebra, stopping at the top, and roll it back down. Next time, you can interlace your hands underneath, shoulders underneath, to come a little higher. And slowly come down. Do that one more time. Up, stretch. And down, release your hands. Okay, this time, bend your knee over the other leg, grab around the hole, and then just push your legs towards you to stretch your glutes. Flex your foot to protect the knee. Stay here. to you, flex your foot, and push your legs towards you. Use your breath towards your benefit, inhaling 
to load, exhaling to come deeper. Okay, from here, just relax your whole body. Let your legs and your arms fall down to the ground. Close your eyes. We're gonna stay here for a minute to completely relax. So I want you to start with noticing your feet, your ankles, let them fall down towards the ground. Same with your legs, your knees, your thighs. Just let it be heavy falling down toward the ground. Then you have your hips, maybe you want to move them a little bit to make sure they are not too tense. Working our way up to our lower back, our spine, shoulders away from the ears, hands relaxed, wrists, fingertips. Take a deep breath and make sure that it comes all the way down to your belly. Sometimes we stop our breath far up in our chest if you want to release it all the way down to your belly. So inhale. Good. Keep your eyes closed. No tension in your head. Open your mouth to release your jaw. And do one more big, big breath through your chest and all the way down to your belly. Good. From here, just take your time to roll on to one side, using your arms as a pillow. And then you can slowly push your way up to seated position, whatever feels comfortable for you. I just want to take this time to really thank you for joining my first online program. It's been a pleasure to work with you and I really hope that I get the chance to work towards your goals in the future as well. So really thank you for your time, thank you for showing up. You should be so, so proud of yourself. Give yourself a big pat on the shoulder and try to bring this nice relaxed feeling you have now after the stretch and your good posture that we've been working on with the core, with the shoulders. Bring that into your everyday life. Enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you very soon. Thank you so, so much.